In this video, I'm going to discuss two things. First is that, uh, when do we flip the sign when we solve inequalities? What's that all about? And secondly, um, I'm going to show a few examples and how to solve inequalities in general, just to get a, a feel for it. So first things first, um, what I have written there is you can perform any operation on both sides of an inequality and have its truth value unchanged, meaning that if the inequality is true, it's still going to be true if you add, subtract, multiply, divide both sides by some number, except that if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you have to flip the sign of the inequality. Now why is this? A lot of people know the rule, but why does it actually work? And I think that showing an example will illustrate why. So simplest inequality you can imagine. One is less than two. Obviously this is true. Let's see what happens when we multiply it by a negative number. Let's say negative three on both sides. Then we have negative three is less than negative six, which is false. That's not true when we multiply both sides by three because what we're really doing is we're, uh, we're kind of making each one more extreme in the other direction. Two lies further to the left when it's multiplied by negative three than one on the number line. So in order to correct for this, we have to flip the sign. Try imagining it in your head, draw it out, um, but I, I think you'll see um, why it holds. Because if you do it, it won't be true unless you flip it. So obviously this is true. Here's the first example of how to solve an inequality. We do it exactly like we would solve an equation. So we subtract 3 from both sides. Oh, we're going to get uh, negative 5x is greater than 15. We divide both sides by 5. And we get x is less than negative 3. Why less than? Because we divided by a negative number. And the same thing applies because when you divide something by a negative number, it means you're multiplying it by the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of that negative number. So multiplication or division, you have to flip the sign. And here's another example. So negative 4x over 3 plus 5 is greater than 6. Just like an equation, we'd subtract 5 from both sides to get negative 4x over 3 is greater than 1. Uh, and then we could multiply both sides by the uh, reciprocal of this fraction times negative 3 over 4, negative 3 over 4. And we just get x is less than, because we flipped the sign, negative 3 over 4. Because we multiplied both sides by a negative number. And that's a little more abstract a case, because there are fractions, but uh, it's still all the basic principles apply. Um, now, what if you're not sure what you did, or why it holds, or did you, flip the, did you flip the sign properly? You can always check by picking a potential value. So look at the uh, blue rectangle. Let's, like, how can we check that? We can pick a value that falls in the solution set. In other words, a value that's less than negative 3, because the answer was x is less than negative 3. So suppose x is uh, negative 4. And then we could just do a check. We replace x by negative 4, and we see if it holds. 3 minus 5 times negative 4 is 3 minus negative 20, which is 23. And indeed, 23 is greater than 18. So our solution set seems to be uh, correct from this check. This isn't a perfect check, because maybe you did some other sort of mistake. But it certainly shows that the, uh, er that the sign is in the right direction. So key things, solve it just like, it would, um, just like an equation, and flip the sign if, uh, you have a, if you're dividing or multiplying by a negative number.